Vacation time is over for this Chinese RoboCop. Training is in full swing, and this robot is conditioning itself to outrun humans. But that's not the only shocking part. The company behind it claims that it can now be controlled with thoughts. Shenzhen-based startup engine AI recently shared footage of its short humanoid robot, the PM1, running outdoors for the first time. The robot might even be in training for next month's half marathon in Beijing, where dozens of humanoid robots will compete alongside more than 12,000 human runners. The PM1, inspired by Robocop and Iron Man, was introduced in December 2024 with a price tag of $133,000, undercutting its competitor, the Unitry G1. In a promotional post on the Chinese video sharing site Bilibili, Engine AI even compared the PM1 to the Terminator. Engine has equipped the PM1 with special cushioning on its feet to help it run more smoothly. Recent videos show it stopping quickly without stumbling, demonstrating impressive stability and agility. This development comes just two weeks after Engine showcased the PM1's ability to perform a front flip, a world first in humanoid robotics. The PM1 is a smaller version of Engine AI's full-sized humanoid robot, the SC1. The startup first gained global attention in October 2024 when it revealed a full-sized humanoid with an eerily human-like walking gait. The PM1 carries the same precision and is even known for its confident strut. Shenzhen, China, is already integrating Engine AI's robots into daily life as it moves toward becoming an AI-driven metropolis. Videos circulating on social media show PM1 robots undergoing public training, assisting police officers, and interacting with citizens. Equipped with an Intel RealSense depth camera, the PM1 features advanced visual perception capabilities. Its aluminum alloy exoskeleton has an interactive core screen on its chest, powered by an Intel N97 processor and an NVIDIA Jetson Orin. The PM1 stands 1.38 meters tall, 32 centimeters shorter than the SC1. It boasts 24 degrees of freedom in movement, with 12 degrees in its joint motors, allowing for fluid and dynamic motion. However, its swappable battery lasts only about two hours per charge. Engine AI trains its robots using reinforcement learning in NVIDIA's Isaac Simulator. This technique allows the robots to learn and adapt before they even exist in the real world. A digital twin of the robot undergoes training and simulation. And once the learning process is complete, the knowledge is transferred to the physical robot through a process called Sim to Real. Engine AI was founded in October 2023 by Xiao Tongyang, a well-known figure in China's robotics industry. Xiao previously founded Dogotics and Xinan in 2016, introducing a quadrupedal robot to the market in 2020. That same year, he acquired a robotics company for nearly $100 million. Before launching Engine AI, Xiao led a team at Xpeng Robotics, developing the PX5, Xpeng's first humanoid prototype. He left Xpeng in 2023, securing nearly $14 million in angel seed funding to launch his humanoid robot project. Now, Xpeng is testing its next-generation humanoid named Iron at its factories. Meanwhile, the PM1 is preparing for a major challenge, the upcoming Beijing Half Marathon. China is using this event to showcase the rapid advancements in AI-powered humanoid robots. To qualify for the race, robots must have a human-like form and be capable of bipedal walking, wheels are strictly prohibited. Every time a robot requires a battery swap, an additional 10 minutes will be added to its final time. Competition is heating up. Tiangong, an open-source humanoid developed by the Beijing Humanoid Robot Innovation Center, has been training for months. This robot last clocked in at 12 kilometers per h, 7.2 miles per hour, which is double its previous speed from a year ago. Tiangong already participated in the Beijing Yuang Half Marathon in November 2024, joining the race 100 meters from the finish line as a closing pacer. If its progress continues, it could surpass fellow Beijing-based competitor, Robot Era's Star One, which currently runs just one kilometer per H faster. The fastest humanoid on two legs last October was Star One, dethroning Unitree's H1. During a record-setting test in the Gobi Desert's Hexi Corridor, testing confirmed that the robot ran faster when wearing sneakers than when running barefoot. Unitree's G1, which frequently appears at AI and robotics events, is also expected to be a major contender. Like Engine AI, Unitree relies on NVIDIA's technology to enable fluid movements and human-like bipedal locomotion. China's obsession with humanoid speed is unique. 
while Western robotics leaders such as Tesla, Figure AI, Agility Robotics, Boston Dynamics, and 1X Technologies focus on dexterity and manipulation for industrial and household use, China is prioritizing mass production of humanoids. The People's Republic aims to dominate the humanoid market by 2027. In another futuristic twist, China's Deep Robotics is integrating brain-computer interfaces to control its AI-powered robots using human thoughts. A recent segment on China Central Television showcased an engineer seemingly controlling a quadruped robot using an EEG helmet. Deep Robotics claims this technology could eventually be life-changing for disabled individuals and elderly people in need of assistance. Though Deep Robotics is primarily known for its advanced robotic dogs, it is also developing a humanoid robot named DR1. Founded in 2017, the company produces quadrupeds that start at just $3,000 and can reach speeds of up to 5 meters per second. Many Chinese robotics companies have shifted from early prototypes to mass production, with robotic dogs now equipped to navigate independently, conduct surveillance, and even operate in swarms. Some models can even walk on two legs and carry human passengers. The sheer volume of advanced robotic dogs entering the market is concerning the West, which is struggling to keep pace. More alarmingly, China's military is actively integrating these AI-powered machines into its forces. Autonomous robot units, including quadrupedal robots designed for reconnaissance, strike missions, and logistics, are already in development. The People's Liberation Army is known for repurposing civilian technology for military applications. With China aggressively pushing forward in AI-powered robotics, the question remains, how long before these humanoids are not just running alongside us, but outpacing us in ways we never imagined? If you found this video interesting, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications for more updates on the future of AI and robotics.